Hey my angels, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie and thank you so much for joining me today. I have to apologize for being away for so long. Um, I haven't been here I think since November 1st. Um, we actually moved, my husband and I moved to another town. We're about an hour away from where we were living. It was a pretty big move for us. Um, and then after the move I got pneumonia and my husband also got sick. So we are recovering and I'm feeling better and I feel ready to film for you guys. So I am going to be sharing a Timu haul that I had purchased previously. Um, this was before the move and I'm finally just getting to it. So I went ahead and went through everything and priced it all out so that I'll tell you guys the prices as we go along. I know everybody appreciates when that is done. So I went ahead and did that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this fun Timu haul. I have a wide variety of things to show you guys today. All right, we're going to be starting with a bunch of small stuff because I'm just going to be pulling from the top and a lot of the small stuff is sitting on the top. Um, first, <laughs> this is a stocking stuffer for my mom. I know she's not watching, so I feel comfortable sharing this. I have previously gotten one of these for myself and I'm still using it months later. So I've been using it for, um, over two months now and it's working perfect. Mine takes battery charge. This one that I got for my mom is actually a USB charge. It is one of the um, facial razors. This one is like the finishing touch razor that is expensive at like Walmart, Walgreens, all those stores. This was $3.59 you guys. This one I was really intrigued by because it does come with a little USB cord and it is rechargeable so if you want to save on batteries I think that this would be the ideal one for you. Um, I have not tested out the chargeability on this thing however I'm going to let my mom review that for me in the future and let me know how it works. If it works good I may invest in one of these because batteries are getting expensive as always um, and for $3.59, I feel like you can't beat that price. All right, so a little gift for myself was this Starbucks. It says three pack sippy cup decorative design. So this is actually for your Apple Watch band. And I just think that this is so stinking cute, you guys. It's Mickey Mouse, but it's Starbucks inspired. And this was $3.98. So you get three charms for basically $4. Um, I can't wait to use these after Christmas and start the new year out with some cute little designs on my watch band. I'm always looking for cute little accessories like that and they have a ton of those on Timu and they are very reasonably priced. Alright, this is a like a little ring for the back of my phone case. So it's just a clear heart if you can see that and then it has the ring and you can use this as a stand or just as a ring when you're holding it so that you don't drop your phone. This was $1.42 and like I said it's just a clear acrylic. Um, it must peel, it must be peel and stick because it doesn't have an extra like sticker to go with it um, so it must be all included. Oh, I just noticed that there is actually some little rhinestones on the ring. So that's pretty cute. I didn't notice that before. So yeah, just a cute little, I don't want to call it a pop socket because it's not. It's like a, a ring, a ring holder. I don't know. <laughs> Here's some more watch band designs for my Apple Watch. And these ones are Mickey, rhinestones, stars, a heart, and then a little moon and stars design. I think that's super cute. I love the light blue color. And these ones were only $2.63 for four of them. Oh, okay. Here is a cute little Lisa Frank inspired um, phone case. I have not opened this yet. This was $2.48. I do have an iPhone 12 max 12 pro max <laughs> so you could get these um in a variety of sizes and this one is so stinking cute look how cute this is so i will be using the the heart ring holder on this case i just think that that's so cute i love it 
and they had other designs that were like Lisa Frank inspired but I really liked this one I wonder if the ink comes off hmm, inks not coming off I'll be curious to see how well that this design holds on the um, rubber. Okay, this is one of those games that everybody's been talking about. Um, it is a quick push game, but this is like a pop it game. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so it has the little things that you pop. Um, and then it has a push thing on the back, if you can see that. And then you, to reset it and pop all the buttons out, you do that. And now when you play the game, it tells you which ones, and you have to pop it in sequence. I don't know, I thought that it looked fun, and this was very inexpensive. $3.56, so I thought for a cute little entertaining game uh, that I would get one of these and try it just for... You know, we're always looking for some games to play. I'll have to get some batteries and test that baby out. Okay, this says $1.98. I'm not sure what it is, so let's find out. Oh, so this is a little beauty tool that they had, and it is a little scoop and then a little applicator that's kind of like rose quartz applicator and this is for your eye cream so this is just a cute little eye cream applicator it's like perfectly sized for under the eye and then the scoop to to um, actually apply it and then yeah so a dollar ninety eight I oh that feels very cool on the eye too so I can see this would be like soothing if you put it inside of a beauty fridge or just your normal fridge a chiller whatever that feels really nice under the eye and then to apply your cream yeah that's that would be nice nice addition to your beauty routine at night guys I think I went ham on the <laughs> on the Apple watch designs this is another four pack for 328 I know why I bought this one. It has a Spaceship Earth design. So there's a crown, a Spaceship Earth, a bar, and then a, um, a carousel horse. But I think I mostly bought it for the Spaceship Earth design on there. Apparently I was going Disney that day. Um, yeah, 328 for another four pack. So now I have enough to last me the entire year next year. All right, this is a pack of pens that have inspirational quotes on them. I can only see two of them. Let's go ahead and open them up. This is $3.47 for a five pack. Let's see what they said. All right, this first one says, believe in the girl holding the pen. I think that's super cute. This one says, hustle and heart set you apart. I like that. I hope these write good. This one says she believed she could, so she did. I love that saying. I've ever I've heard that years ago, and ever since I heard it, I really like clung to that saying. This one says busy chasing dreams. I like that. That's so cute. I love these colors. And then this one says, nevertheless, she persisted. Amen, sister. I love that. I like the uh, taupe color of this pen too. So what a cute little five pack of pens for $3.47. I feel like this would make a nice gift any time of the year. I just think that that's so sweet. Um, and a nice stocking stuffer as well. All right, I saw these packs of scrunchies. These are like satin scrunchies and just different colors. This pack was $1.79. I'm curious to see how big these are because they look bigger in the pictures. Oh my goodness, these are like the tiniest scrunchies ever. Look how tiny. It's a little one. I don't think this would be holding much hair. Okay, so I actually bought this for my niece, but she has like the longest thickest hair heavy heavy hair 
it's straight but it's heavy um, and it's like clear down her back so I don't think these are gonna work for my niece um, I feel like these would be more appropriate for like us a, a little girl my niece is in her 20s so I don't think I'm gonna be giving these to her maybe I will give her an I'll go to Target or somewhere and find some of the bigger thicker ones but for $1.79 if you have a small girl that you want to use scrunchies on for you know hairstyles I would suggest these because I got one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten in here for $1.79 that's not that bad um, <clears throat> I, I bought two of them. I think I bought one for my mom and one for my niece. Are these the same colors? Yeah, they're the same colors. Dollar seventy nine. Yeah, I think for a small child these would work good, but for an adult or a teenager maybe not so much unless their hair is like super duper fine. This headband I got for a friend and it is a nursing headband if you can see the cute little nursing print on there. So I'll be giving her this for Christmas and it was $2.69. Just a cute little sport headband for her to wear at work. I know she likes to wear her hair up in a bun and stuff. These are a purchase um, for myself. They are wool balls and you're supposed to use them in your dryer so that you do not have to use um, softener. Um, a friend of mine actually told me about these and she said that she bought hers from Walmart. She stopped using softener because it was irritating her son's skin. So I thought I would try these out. So that's what these are, just little wool balls. And this was a six pack for $3.37, which I think is very reasonably priced because I actually looked at Walmart and Meyer, and they were way more expensive there. So hopefully this is an ethically sourced wool ball. <laughs> hopefully these are real wool to begin with, first of all. But I'm going to try them out and see how they work in the dryer and hopefully they will work fine. They feel like wool, but you know, how can we verify, you know, the actual contents of these? I'm not really sure, but it says white six pieces and it was listed as wool balls. So I'm, I'm going to tr go ahead and trust that that's what it is. This is a little necklace that I bought for myself. Um, I will take it out of the package. It was $1.16. It is in the silver color. And this is so cute. It's a very delicate fine chain. This is cute. I hope it fits. I don't like necklaces that choke me, but here's what it looks like. Super cute little dog paw. And I'm a dog mama, so I got this for my babies just to remind me of them throughout the day and to remind me of my little fur babies that are in heaven now. All right, this is a makeup brush. It is dual ended and it was 67 cents. It reminded me of some of the It Cosmetics brushes that, that are sold at like Ulta and Sephora. Oh, okay. This is super fluffy. Um, it's kind of almost a little too fluffy for it to be used for foundation or or concealer but it's a nice brush for you know under a dollar I can't really complain about that I think it might be good for like a a powder blush um, and maybe a powder uh, contouring so for under a dollar I think that was definitely a good buy as if I needed another beanie hat, I got a beanie hat that says Dog Mom. It is $2.69. And it's so cute. I like it. So here's the little hat. It just says Dog Mom on it. I think it'll be cute for the winter. And um, it's just your traditional, it's very stretchy. So if you're worried about it being really tight on your head, I wouldn't worry because this, look how look how far this thing stretches out yeah very soft knit so is it going to keep your head very warm probably not because it's not a tight knit but you know for a for a reasonably warmer winter day i think it will do the trick just fine 
All right, so here is a pack of compression socks that I picked up. These were $6.78 for a three pack. Let's go ahead and open these up and look at them. I got the, let's see. I got the size 3XL. Now, I am a plus size girl. My calves are not super large. But just going by the size chart, I decided to get the 3XL. Here is the color pattern on these. This one's super cute. This one's gray and black. And then this one is really cute. I like the pink and blue and the yellow together. So if you have not worn compression socks, I highly recommend it, especially if you're on your feet a lot. Um, I wear these because I'm a nurse and I work at the hospital all day. Um, oh yeah, these are, I think I made the right call on the 3X. Um, I am like a size 18, 20. So, and I feel like my legs are pretty, I don't know, slender for a plus size girl. So I would go by the size chart if I were you. I feel like it's true to size. But here is the yellow, pink, and blue. These are super cute. I love that. And the stretch is like just the perfect stretch, I feel like. It's not too, not too strong and not too light. You gotta be careful because sometimes the tops of compression socks like literally cut you at the back of your knee and that hurts. Like you're, you're hurting by the end of the day. But these feel perfect. $6.78 for three of these. I will definitely be investing in more of these. Um, that is an excellent price compared to scrub shops that we have here in Ohio. I would be paying like almost $10 a pair for one pair. So that is a very good Timu find. All right, this is uh, this is a purchase for myself. Um, these are $7.98, and they are gloves that can be warmed up. So these are warming gloves. I don't know how they work though. It uh, obviously they work through USB. I don't know if you have to keep them plugged in the whole time, but. Uh, probably you probably do it looks like there's a little warming pad on the inside that this is connected to <laughs> okay there's two little two little cord ends here these plug into your gloves this is so goofy I'm what I've never seen anything like this like electric gloves Okay, so those two plug into your gloves, and then you have a USB right here that... Is there an on switch? I'm concerned. And these are fingerless gloves, too. Oh, oh, okay, I see. So, they have the, like, you can have your fingers out, or you can flip this over. There's a little button here with a loop. And uh, what in the world? They had it flipped twice. Okay. And then you can flip this over and then it has the mitten. So you can bring your fingers inside the mitten. Cute. Okay. So these are interesting because there's no on button here. So you must just plug them in and then they stay warm. I'm a little concerned because is there an automatic shut off for these? Like, are they going to catch on fire? I don't know. <laughs> the packaging says nothing about anything. It has nothing about an automatic shut off. It just has the manufacturer of where it was made in China. So this will be an interesting, um, winter gadget to try out but like what a cool idea but I didn't realize that you have to keep it plugged into a um energy source you know like one of the little batteries um uh, portable battery so that'll be interesting to try out because I don't think you want cords like on the outside of you like getting snow and stuff on them or rain I don't know 
I'm curious to see how this works. I guess in the car it would be cool. You could like plug it into your um, USB port in your car and use this if your hands are cold inside the car. I don't know. <laughs> For $7.98, I'm willing to try it out. That's going to be an interesting... I'll let you guys know how these work out. I should try them um, on my drive into work. I have an hour drive to work now, so yeah. We've, we've been cold on our way to work. Speaking of my drive to work, I just found a little lumbar pillow that I... Oh, no, wait. This is a neck pillow. Sorry. It's a neck pillow that I bought for the car. It is $3.28. I'm going to put this in my car tomorrow. I should have been using this for like the last two weeks. Um, it has a little strap to go behind the seat. And then it's just a little... Uh, leather like pillow that goes supports your head and my neck has been hurting me so bad since I've been driving over two hours to and from work so this will be nice to have in the car I'm gonna actually put this with my work bag so that I can take it out to the car tomorrow morning and I'm gonna test it out and let you guys know how it works um, I'm sure it's gonna benefit me a lot because my neck has been killing me with all this driving. I can't wait to try that out. Oh, another work purchase. Um, so every time I like to put my pens in my scrub pocket and a lot of times when I bend over to pick something up or help somebody you know with their shoes or whatever you know I'm putting the pedals down on the wheelchair you know you name it and my pens fall out of my pocket. So I got myself a little pocket protector. So that's what this guy is. This was $207. I feel like it should have been under a dollar the way it looks. It is just a little plastic thing. Um, but $207 for this pocket protector. And I'm looking forward to putting this in my scrub pocket tomorrow and hooking my pens on it so it doesn't so my pens don't keep flying out of my pocket. And then I have to clean them every time they hit the floor. <laughs> so can't wait to use this. Um, and if it works out good, I may get other colors. But I like the purple. I think it's super cute. <laughs> if you've watched any of my other Teemu hauls and you know that I am a croc fanatic and I buy a lot of croc charms or gibbets as crocs likes to call them. And Timu is the land of croc charms for cheap. So... I found this adorable set. It's like a summer set and it is $2.98 but it has like cute little summerish things, beachy things, uh, sea turtle, you see the jeep there. Um, let's see what else is there. There's the hang ten sign, there's a wave, um, a cactus, one that says just breathe, just have fun, a bunch of super cute ones like coral and stuff like that, vacay mode, <laughs> these are cute, so yeah, so these were $2.98 for this set, and there is 19 pieces it says in this one, um, I bought these because they were on like the lightning deals, and I think I might have bought some Christmas ones, I'm not sure, but I know I got these for sure because I wanted to have them for next summer. Okay, I forgot I bought this. So this was $7.64. These are invisible braces. They look like Invisalign and it came with three different steps. So step one, step two, step three. So I am just curious to see how well these work um, because I do have a couple of our teeth. I think it uh, I'm not sure. I call them my vampire teeth. I think they're my canines um, but they are they turned out just a little bit and it is a genetic thing because I, my grandma has it and then my grandma's dad had the same thing. So I think it's just a genetic thing. Um, the doctor has never told me I needed braces or anything, but as an adult, like I just wanted to try this out of curiosity to see if it would correct that because that's pretty much the only problem that I have like as far as how my teeth are aligned. Alright, this is another um, Christmas gift. This is actually an um, electric scarf. 
So this works pretty similar. Okay, it's got an on off button. $9.97 and it says, doesn't say anything about an auto shut off. But it does have an on off button that you can control. And let me see, is this battery operated? If this is battery operated, that is awesome and I want one for myself. It's not battery operated, you guys. Oh, what is, okay, everything is USB. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Would you really want to carry like a power bank with you? <laughs> here, um, this little zipper here has the USB cord in it. Um, I do like that right here on the other side is an on off button. But here is what it looks like and then Where's the hole at? Let's be on this side. I guess this folds in like this. And it is just a soft plush scarf. I got this for my niece. Um, I thought that she would really like it. And I hope that she likes it. If, it. if she tells me that it's nice and she loves it, I'm probably going to order one for myself and my mom. Um, it would be kind of nice just to have, you know, if you're out and about and you're cold. So that's what she looks like. They did have other colors. There was like red, black, gray, and a cream color. And the gray and cream were definitely like the hot commodity. All right, if you are a Disney fan and you've been on Timu, then you know that they have Minnie and Mickey ears on there. But I don't know if you guys have seen the quality of these. So I did get a pair of Christmas ones. These were $2.69. I'm going to take them out of the package so you can look at them. I do think that these would be nice if you are looking for a cheap option to wear to the park or to a Christmas party. And I mean, they're very, very cute. Um, they're very light, lightweight. And here's what they look like. They are a very thin headband, so you can see that. But here's what the ears look like, you guys. These are so cute. They're very, very lightweight. So if you are somebody who cannot stand a lot of weight, which a lot of the Mickey ears and mini ears are extremely heavy, if you can't stand the Disney Park ears, Maybe think about picking up a pair of the Timu ones because they are super lightweight. I can see these working well for an adult or for a girl, you know, or young child. But here's what this looks like. It is so cute. These are actually really pretty. The sewing on it is not bad at all. Um, yeah, that's cute. Look at the design. Here is an up close. Like, I was not expecting them to be this cute. All right, this is a beauty gadget. It is. It says eye beauty device. This was 1043. There is a light device on Ulta like this, and it is called the Red Light Therapy Skincare Wand by Soul Wave. So if you can see that, sorry about the ring light, but there is a device right there this thing is $189 at Ulta. It is for anti-aging. It says reduces the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, and dark circles in as little as three minutes a day. Um, it is red light therapy and it has therapeutic warmth and it is rechargeable. This thing looks just like that. And it was $10.43. Let's go ahead and open her up and look at this thing because I'm super excited to try this thing out. That other device is so expensive from Ulta. It, this one is rechargeable. It came with a USB cord. I feel like I need to do like a series with all of my beauty devices from Timu and just showing you guys how they work and reviewing them. Would that be a series that you guys are interested in? If it is, let me know. I am curious to know what you guys want to see. Okay, so here is the device. 
I am so interested in all of these beauty devices. Oh shoot. Here, I flipped it on its side or you can use it this way, whoops, this way. But it vibrates and it's supposed to heat up and it has the infrared. So there you go. So I guess when you touch it, that's when it turns on. Here's the USB part where it charges. Okay, so if you touch it to your face, it feels weird. <laughs> For $10, I'm willing to give this little booger a try. I hope that it works good. I think it's kind of nice that it only works when you actually touch that, uh, when you touch the surface of it. And then if it's not being touched, then it turns off. I feel like that's really nice for conserving its battery. All right, these are some reusable sticky rollers. This is a four pack that was $2.69. And here's what they look like. They're multiple colors. One was blue, one was pink, green, and yellow. I'm just gonna open one up just for demonstration purposes, I guess. Um, I did get these for stocking stuffers. Hopefully they're legit and work. Um, but you're, suppo you're supposed to be able to, okay, it feels like sticky, like, um, I don't know, it's like sticky tacky right here. You're supposed to be able to use this and then rinse it and then let it dry and like reuse it as many times as you want to. So that's what intrigued me about this. It has like a gel silicone kind of feel to it. Um, you do have to take off this little plastic wrap off of it. But I don't know, for a little travel thing, I thought it was cute. Um, I thought it would make a cute stocking stuffer for family. So that's why I got these. And then I was intrigued by the reusability um, possibility of these. So that's why I got them. This is a pack of makeup brushes and they are dual ended for eyeshadows. This was only $1.97 for these. One end has like kind of a dome shape. The other end is your flat end brush. and Or is that fluffy? One's like a dome shape, the other is like fluffy end. Because $1.97 for four eye brushes is not bad. Yeah, they're fluffy. So here's the one end. There's the whole brush. And then the other side is for like your crease, I guess you would say, for doing your crease or the outer edge of your eye. Oh, okay, I know what this is. My husband's been asking me to go ahead and make this video so that he can use this, but this is a um, Wi-Fi repeater. That's what it, uh, it says, wireless repeater. So this is, um, you're supposed to plug this in and then it actually expands the reach of your Wi-Fi in your home. So it, this was 1147. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him tonight. Ah, okay, this looks interesting. So here's what it looks like. It plugs in and then, you know, it just, ha I don't know, I don't know what any of this means. I know that's the Wi-Fi, but, um, that's what it looks like. It had good reviews and for $11.47, I'm willing to give it a try um, because we are in a lot bigger house now and the Wi-Fi box is actually upstairs. So I wanted to plug this in downstairs and see if it expands the reach, um, helps the Wi-Fi better down here because down here in the finished basement is where we have the computer and stuff set up and I like to do gaming and stuff like that. So yeah, I wanted to try this out and also I think it'll help because down here in the basement we have a Roku for the TVs and I feel like that will help out a lot too for watching TV and playing on the computer or doing watching YouTube or whatever. Okay, this I actually showed in my previous Timu haul it is one of the um, safety keychains, and I'm not going to open this one up. If you want to see what it looks like, go check out my previous Timu haul. But it came with a bunch of accessories, and it is a safety keychain. So it has, you know, different things. It has the whistle. It has the um, 
personal alarm and things like that. So I got this for my niece and I got myself one. I opened mine up already and this one is for my niece. So I'll be giving this to her along with her cute little electric scarf and I wanted to get this for her because she goes into work very early where she works and I just want her to stay safe. Oh, okay. I forgot I ordered this. This is a little beauty cleanser. It was $2.79 and it's just one of those little cleansing brushes. Um, it is battery operated. I believe this is battery operated. It came with one, two, three, four, five different heads if you can see there. So there's the five different heads it came with. And I love these kind of things because I feel like your skin gets really nice and clean when you use these. I can't use it every day because my skin is super sensitive, but you know, tw you know, two or three times a week, I feel like it does give me really good exfoliation. Um, so yeah, that's why I got one of these for myself. And shoot, $2.79 is like the cheapest I've ever paid for one of these in my life. I think the other ones I paid for, I paid for an Ulta Beauty one. And that one was just like this. And it was over $20. So, yeah. So here is this little thing. This is smaller than the one from Ulta Beauty, but pretty much the same thing. There's the brush. And then it just has your little settings right here. So there is a low and a high. And then it's it fell apart. <laughs> okay, so maybe the head doesn't pop on there very good. Okay, it just wasn't on there very good. But it pops on there good. Oh, let's see. How many batteries does this baby take? I can't even get the battery door open. Some of these, I just don't know. Okay, there we go. So two AA batteries. So there you go. Cute little cleansing brush. And then all of the other heads fell out into the box. So you've got an exfoliating head, a sponge head, um, a more dense sponge, huh, kind of a like plastic roller ball type head on it, and then that's it. So here's like a soft sponge, a dense sponge, and then this one's like a pumice stone. So for less than three dollars I feel like that's a pretty good deal all right here is a four no five pack it's a five pack of Apple watch bands and it came with um, a purple like a mauve a white black and like a rose pink these were five dollars and twenty cents and these are just silicone watch bands so, five for five twenty is not bad at all. I think that is a great deal for watch bands, and these are super cute. These are these feel uh, like good quality. So here's what they look like. Yeah, these are a nice quality. I will be repurchasing watch bands from Timu because it's just. It, these are so much cheaper than Amazon. You cannot beat that. Five for five twenty. Um, this is a mini face facial. It's not a facial. It's a facial gun. Um, this was eight eighty seven. Here's what it looks like. So it is one of the massage guns, and it says massage, soothing, and shaping. So. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh, I thought it was battery operated. It's actually USB rechargeable. Came with the little USB cord. I feel like I need to use this thing on my hamstrings. They are so tight. Oh, this thing is cute. 
Oh yeah, I could see this working. Okay, so here's what she looks like. Very cute. Um, where's the on off button? On the back, okay. It's just one setting on off button, push on, push off. And where do you charge this? Okay, right there. There's where you charge it on the bottom. This came in blue and pink. I got the pink because it was cheaper. And once again, the price was $8.87. So for a mini massage gun, I think that this is nice. It had good reviews and everyone in the reviews seemed very pleased with this. So I'm excited to try it. Um, can't wait to try it on my legs, my calves, um, my low back and um, like my hamstrings and stuff my glutes okay this was a, this was a splurge um i've been wanting some of those roller ice balls from um the ones that i wanted were from tarte cosmetics they were double the price these were 9.44 and it's magic ice globes and these you put in the fridge or freezer i think you can put this in the fridge 20 minutes or ice water so put it in the fridge don't put it in the freezer you can put it in the fridge or you can put it in ice water but don't put it in the freezer but here's what they look like and these just chill and then you just roll them all over your face so oh yeah this is this was a splurge but look how cute this is just a cute little tool oh that feels so good so um, you can just roll this all over your face when it's chilled and it just helps with puffiness and just helps relax those muscles. Um, I can't wait to try this out. This is like a little foam, foam thing on the handle. So just for your comfort. But yeah, this will help with like all that puffiness. Can't wait. I'm going to clean those and put them in the fridge tonight and use them with some serum tomorrow all right last but not least i got myself a pair of their i can't call these uggs they don't remind me of uggs they look more like the bear paw brand of boots but these were 10.97 and these look super cute they look so cozy I guess they kind of look like Uggs. I don't know. But they have just a nice fuzzy inside. And then here it's just like the low ankle boot. I guess they do look like Uggs. I don't know. They kind of remind me more of the Bear Paw, Bear Paw brand shoes or boots. But these are kind of suede on the outside. And then they have like the little tread on the bottom. But yeah, I think these are really cute boots for $11. And um, my other shoes that I got from Timu are super cozy. The brown ones that were like the ankle ones that look like the um, platform Uggs. They are so cozy and I've been wearing them, but the inside, like the fur on the up by the toes is actually coming off the shoe so I'm really disappointed about that but I have worn them almost every day since I shown them in my previous haul and I've worn them to pieces I guess but they did not last long at all like the inside of the lining so I'm hoping that these ones last a little bit longer and um, let's see what they look like on I got a size 9 I wear normally eight and a half in like my tennis shoes. But with boots, I've found, especially boots that have fur on the inside, I have found that I need a size nine. Okay, they fit pretty good. They don't feel very sturdy, but I think they'll be fine for just going around town. Here's what they look like. They're very cute. 
Alright you guys, that is it for my Timu haul. Let me know in the comments below, have you picked up any of these items? Did you do some Christmas shopping on Timu like I did? And if you did, what did you find? What did you like? Let's chat it up in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I apologize for taking so long to post again. Hopefully we can get back in the swing of things for the end of 2023 and starting into 2024. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!